Okay, what is all this mess of wires here? This is a very, very sophisticated physics experiment. We are going to measure the speed of light, which uh, sounds like it's a hard thing to do. So what do we know about the speed of light? We know the speed of light is around uh, 300 million meters per second. It's like 299.9, uh, it's, it's really close to 300 million meters per second, okay? So that's really, really fast. Um, so let's see what our setup's gonna be to test this thing. Uh, we are gonna test it with a piece of wire, okay? We're gonna have a square wave come in and we're gonna zoom in on the rising edge. We're gonna look at that rising edge there. And it's gonna come into scope probe number one. And then it's also gonna go in a separate path with 12 inches of wire to scope probe number two. And then we will measure the delay between scope probe number one and scope probe number two and see if we can see any difference. We know that electricity goes maximally at the speed of light. It won't go any faster, but it usually goes pretty close to the speed of light. Okay. And uh, yeah, so let's see if we can see anything. Let's go over here to the oscilloscope. All right, so we're gonna make the measurement here. We have uh, our two channels. Uh, we have um, the blue channel and the yellow channel, and we see there's a difference between the two. All right, and you can see that I've set the cursors already. So my cursors are set to where they kind of cross this horizontal line. Okay, uh, the yellow one goes here and the this is where they cross, so that's the difference. So this is delta x, okay? And over here we can read, uh, we can read, we can read delta x. So delta x is 1.1 nanosecond, okay? So let's write that down, 1.1 nanosecond. All right, so now we're gonna have to do some math. Everybody loves math. So let's go down and do some math. All right, so what are we trying to do? We're trying to calculate the speed of light. Well, what do we know? We know 1.1 nanoseconds and we know distance. We know 12 inches. So those are the two, those are our two knowns. And what are we trying to solve? We're trying to solve the speed of light and we know that electrons are going at the speed of light. So we need to figure out what the speed of light is. It's meters per second, okay? So how fast is the speed of light? Well, the speed of light is about 300 million, 300 million meters per second, okay? And so, so let's figure out what we have. We have length over, over speed, right? So what is our length? 12 inches. But we need that in meters. So let's multiply this by 25.4, okay? That'll give us millimeters. And if we divide it by 1,000, That'll give us meters. So now we have meters. And then we need to know seconds. How many seconds do we have? Well, we have 1.1 nanoseconds, which is 1.1 times 10 to the minus ninth seconds. Okay? So meters per second. Let's get out the calculator. All right? So we have 12. Is that on camera? There we go. We have 12. 25.4 divided by 1,000 is 0.3 meters. So we're going about 0.3 meters. Our 12 inches is about 0.3 meters. Sounds about right. And then we, and then we divide that by the speed that we got, 1.1 nano, divide that, we get 277 times 10 to the six. Those are millions. So we got 277 and we should have gotten 300. So 277 divided by 300. We are, we just made the speed of light with a 92.3% accuracy. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for, uh, for a, quick, a quick one off here, okay? So could we do better? Yeah, I think we can do a little bit better, but uh, um, it's pretty good. Right? I mean, if you just had a ballpark it and you had nothing else to go with except for an oscilloscope and the uh, uh, and a chunk of wire, 
<laughs> it's not too bad, right? It's not too bad.